How's it going YouTube? It's Root Junkie here and today I've got a very fun video for you. As you guys may or may not know, Android has finally unveiled their new Android version, specifically their new Android version codename and the firmware to go ahead and put it on your Nexus and Pixel devices. So that being said, we're going to go find out what this new Android version is and show you the features inside of it. I wonder what it could be. Hmm. Not sure. I'm sure we'll figure something out. That's right, boys. I'm back. So this, guys, is going to be your overview of Android O, Android 8.0 here on my Pixel XL. So let's just go ahead and start it up. Obviously, you can see this is what we're working with. This is the Pixel Launcher, and I'm just going to go through any features and things that I've seen that are pretty cool in here. I'm using a mouse just to keep my hands out of the shot so you guys can see what's going on. So obviously, you have Google now there. Also, I don't think this was like this before. You can actually click this tab. At least it wasn't on Nougat. And you can actually do the search. Before when you click the tab, it would just open up um, Google now like this, which was annoying. So I like that you can actually just click the tab, do a very quick search for some stuff um, right there very, very easily. You can see what I've been searching. <laughs> Stupid stuff. Uh, you obviously can come over here and click the uh, weather and uh, get a weather report uh, on your device. And then um, besides that, swipe up to get to all of your applications right here. Um, nothing new here. I mean, right, this just have Daydream in it, um, you know, things like that. But otherwise, this is all just stock Google applications. Um, nothing too fancy. You know, you've got your clock and, you know, different things like that. You know, nothing, nothing crazy, crazy. Um, See, so, you know, calculator, you know, the, the usual stuff. So nothing really amazing when it comes to the applications. Most people get updated their applications through the Play Store, so it doesn't really come with the software update. Having said, we also come down here and you do have this right here. And we can talk to Google Assistant, which is pretty cool. That's pretty standard. You can come in here and look at uh, your current tabs of all of your uh, open uh, applications. Um, you can do a lot of things with, with this. If you're in an application, we can tab back to the previous one by double-clicking it. And it'll just keep It'll just keep switching between uh, the tabs, which is nice. You can long click one, and that'll open up your multitasking right here. And we can go into something else, and you know you can adjust that window up and down. You can long click it again and get rid of it and clear it out. So you know there's some nice multitasking functionality built in here with multiple windows and things like that. Um, let's go ahead and pull down our top notification bar and see what we can find in here. So the first thing that's kind of interesting here is your little um, icon right here. And when you go full expanded, it's actually on this row down here. So generally, the settings icon was always up top, and then now it's down here at the bottom. So a little bit of variance there. You can see this is all the icons you have here by default. We can go ahead and do our editing. Like I always use Hotspot. I almost never use Do Not Disturb. So let's see if I can... Um, put this one up here and actually oh it's interesting come on there we go get rid of that one lower down and actually what I like to do because in my opinion there's no point in having these off the screen altogether I mean you might as well have all of them up here and so I'm going to just put them all up here and the reason being is because they don't all display on the main screen anyway so why even deal with it when I mean, you can just swipe over and get to them instead of clicking edit and doing all that baloney to get them this is just so much easier um so you can see what you've got here the other thing that's interesting you've got your user down here like you got settings and so on um, let's go ahead and just look at the notifications here you can see it's telling me i can configure my keyboard if you guys haven't seen this is kind of neat um keyboard shortcut helper show virtual keyboard some different things you guys can adjust i'm just curious about virtual keyboard plus must be because i'm using this mouse let's just take that back off um but let's go back in here so we'll come back in here and just go ahead and click on settings and actually if you hold this down this will be a good way to see it with the mouse let's see if it does it it should turn on some special features here let's see if i'll now let go and there you go congratulations system tuner has been added so that's cool i wasn't sure if how that was going to get done or if it was going to work still i assumed it would um i think that's going to be under system and it is system tuner and we'll look back through all these settings too um just some things about system tuner you can stay okay so let's go ahead and just see what you got so you can turn on your status bar things so on and so forth 
Um, you can show percentages and different things like that. What else do we have in System Tuner? Do not disturb, volume controls. So System Tuner is very basic at this point. You can also remove it from settings if you don't want it in there. Um, very interesting. Let's go ahead and see what else we have in here. So there are some suggestions at the top, you know, some different things you can do. Import some data, things like that. Do not disturb, add your fingerprint, and so on and so forth. Um, the other thing that I saw was interesting in here was um, we do have a way to turn on battery percentage. So we should be able to do that. Oh, my word. The mouse doesn't really like to work with those slide toggles, which is interesting. Um, so, you know, it's good to have the battery percentage on it. I like that. Let's see what else we have in here. Storage. Um, you know, standard stuff there. You can obviously go into um, file browser here very easily from from there and look at all kinds of cool stuff from here but we can also go back so storage is there I guess the other thing I saw that was that was kinda interesting was in here so this is a new spot that I've seen this top heading so security update which is normally about phone is now listed here as well um, find my device which used to be Google account manager or Google device manager is now being called find my device and then on top of that we also have Google Play Protect and this is Google's new security measure to basically scan your device for malicious applications and either try to deal with them or let you know at least and you can learn more by clicking here um, but uh, yeah so this is Google's new attempt for security that's why when you see the um, little video here for Android uh, Oreo, you'll see they're really touting security as one of the new features here in this Android version. Um, besides that, you know, the rest of this looks pretty standard. Right here, device administrative applications again. So I'll click on this also just so you can see it. And you can see, again, it's find my device, not um, Google device administrator, whatever it is. The other one, what they used to call it. So that has changed a little bit here. Uh, the rest of this is pretty standard, but let's go into system, and we can just look through this really quickly. There's your Android version. So you go, updated to Android 8.0.0, Pixel XL, system tuner. Let's go ahead and um, click on this a bunch of times. Oh, and that's the update. Haha, <laughs> we don't want the update. Let's go to about phone. There we go. And now let's click on this one a bunch of times. And there's your little Easter egg. And then if you guys have not seen this, it's pretty cool. Um, there you go. There is your octopus. I don't know what they're calling this. Oreo octopus. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but you can just drag it around. I don't know. It's kind of interesting to look at. It's a cool to have Easter eggs. I always like the Easter eggs. I wish this one would do a little more. The last couple of Easter eggs were more like games. This is not so much a game in my mind. I wish you could get it to like do something different. So let me know if you guys find it do something different. That'd be pretty cool. I'd love to know, but uh, it's kind of neat. So we'll back back out of this as well. Get off the Easter egg, and we can look through this. So the security version, if you're interested in that. Let's go to the build number, and let's turn on developer options. And uh, where are developer options listed at? I'm guessing back on the main screen. Let's keep going back. Hmm. Oh, there they are, developer options. They change it around. The, the settings menus have changed quite a bit here in Android, so, um, you know, it's all right, but it's just different. So let's see what we got here. There's OEM Unlock, because this does have an unlike bootloader. That's what you're going to need if you're going to try to get these uh, Android O or Android Oreo, Android 8.0 on there. You're going to have to do that. Automatic system updates. That is interesting. So that's where you can turn on and off the automatic system updates that update in the background on devices like the Pixel here. So if you don't want it to update in the background, you can turn it off right there. System UI demo mode, you can toggle that if you're interested. USB debugging, we're going to go ahead and toggle it with my finger. For some reason, it doesn't like the mouse. There we go. And very cool, very cool. Nothing too crazy in here that I'm seeing. Just trying to scam, skim across this stuff. Obviously, you can change your Android, your, your animations right here transitions and stuff like that not a big deal um yeah pretty standard reset shortcut manager rate limit that's interesting i know they're doing a lot here with making this thing really run smoothly so i'm sure we'll dig around in settings and find some more stuff 
The other thing I guess I could show you, so you can see I've got a notification here from my school, um, is you do have this. You can expand and, and do that. You can also reply from uh, right here. Oh, it's not going to let me do it. Generally, you can reply from uh, the notification, which is pretty cool. So sometimes it launches the application, sometimes it does, depending. Text message generally, Hangouts, you can all do that from here. You can also do your clear as, as well if you're just wanting to clear things out. So guys, there you go. That's pretty much what we're talking about here with um, Android Oreo, Android 8.0. It's basically what it looks like at this point. I'm liking it. I'm going to try it out. Maybe I'll make this my daily driver again for a little while and give it a go. But hope you guys have enjoyed this video here. And uh, stay tuned for some more videos soon. I'm uh, trying to get back into it a little bit. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.